Tequila. Did you know you can ride a train through the agave fields of Mexico to the town where the famous spirit is made? Today you're going to come on a journey with me as we drink tequila for breakfast, learn about the history of this world-renowned spirit, and wander through the streets of one of Mexico's most well-known Pueblo Magicos, tequila. Well, folks, we're just doing our check-in here. Make sure you remember your ID and your credit card. This is the uh, name of the queen. Well, folks, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you're watching this. Today, I'm gonna take a special train journey. You know I love trains, planes, automobiles, all sort of transport modes. And I am partial to a little, the old time, a little bit of tequila. So I thought I'd combine the two and take you on a trip on the Jose Cuervo Express. We're actually in Guadalajara at the minute, which is the second city in Mexico, second largest city. But we're going to go on the Tequila Express, which takes us to the town of Tequila, which you guessed it, is where the famous drink tequila was invented and is made to this day. There's several factories but we're going to go to the Jose Cuervo, which is probably the best known in the UK and Ireland. And there are other brands available, of course. So we're going on the Amina Ser, which is the Sunrise one. There are two trains available. You can go on the, the Sunset one, which is in the afternoon. But I thought, why not? I'm on my holidays. Why not drink a bit of tequila in the morning? There are four classes of carriages on the train the most basic and cheapest being the express category. The next step up is the premium plus option, which is the one we chose with the main difference being that the premium plus option gives you that table as well. The diamond and elite wagons offer a more luxury experience with options for private rooms as well. All tickets include a food and drink experience, so don't worry about missing out if you go for the cheaper option. Cheers, salud. Cheers. Nine o'clock in the morning. I'm on my first tequila. Wish me luck. And so we're just getting some tequila right now. I'm on tequila number two, and we get some nice granola just to keep that stomach line, folks. People, folks. Amigos, I need food. I need food because I don't want to get drunk. We are going to be wasted at the end of the day. Speak for yourself, you know, <laughs> lightweight. She's already barracha, she's only had one tequila. We are going to the home of tequila. This is where tequila is invented. This is where, it was, where it's made. It's just like champagne in France or you know any other liquor with a name. It has to be, tequila has to be made in this province of Mexico. In Jalisco. Alright folks, we're just getting the test in here. Yeah. Seems like a bit of a waste of the tequila, but you gotta do this here. Put your hand. Make sure you wash your hands now, folks. Sanitize. Do that. And just lick it. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a waste of tequila. Smell that folks. Smells of tequila. Better to just get it down the hatch. What time is it, folks? So folks, we're about five tequilas in here. <laughs> Still standing. Well, I haven't got up yet, but when I get up, we'll see how it goes. Well, they just keep filling us up with these tequilas. I must say it's actually pretty nice. Normally, we drink tequila. We put the salt on the hand and we neck it and the lemon, but that's not a tradition here, folks. 
hair tequila is to be savored, it's to be smell it. This actually smells a little bit like whiskey. Because it's kept in an oak barrel like the like the whiskey is. Some of those are great, actually. I'm giving you some education on how to drink tequila properly. On a train in Mexico, that's the proper way to do it folks. So you've got some nice uh cochinita pibil. Some tacos and some guacamole. Sure, what else would you be doing at 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning? It's too early for a shot. It is actually like 10:30 in the morning. It's 10:30 in the morning, but it's it's 10:30 p.m. somewhere else in the world. You know what time it is, folks? It's not beer o'clock today. It's tequila time. Viva Mexico y Irlanda del Norte! Tequila train, baby! Ale, 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 ale! So, folks, we've arrived here in tequila. Almost in tequila. If you're able to walk after getting tequila poured down your neck, it's time to make your way to the auditorium for the English language tasting presentation. Apparently there's a lot more to tequila than covering your hand in salt before knocking back a shot and biting a lemon. And to round it off, they finish off with a good old Irish blessing. Even when in the middle of the Mexican countryside, there is a reminder of Ireland. So folks, four sips. Don't be necking it. I've almost finished mine. Okay. May this sun rise to meet you. May the wind be always on your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rainfall salt upon your fields. And until we meet you again, may God help you in all of his hands. Cheers. So folks, we just finished our tasting there. Did you learn much, Ali? Yeah, for sure. What did you learn? I know how to be drunk fast. Sure. I basically drunk mine within the first five minutes. So uh, this is a museum, actually it is called Cultural Center. Folks, we're just on the second part of the tour here. We're getting to see how the tequila is made. These are the agave pants right in front of us. Let's have a look. Well folks, that's the tour over now. Now we've got two hours to explore the town of Tequila. Um, of course, giving a little sample, of course, to help us on our way. It's probably about the 10th Tequila I've had today. I'm gonna take in a little tour here. Been told to get some cantaritas, which is basically a big, massive jar of tequila and orange juice, that sort of thing. That is a long morning. 
we started drinking tequila at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's now 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I think. But we're about to see the Voladores. We're basically guys that spin around on a big massive pole in the air. Really see. What time is it? What time is it? It's tequila time. No, it's actually beer o'clock. Even though I'm here in tequila, I still fancy a bit of beer, folks, you know, because it's always beer o'clock. So I'm having some tequila beer, some cerveza de agave. You have a chance, guys, come here to Guadalajara. Well, folks, I must say, after three or four hours of drinking tequila on a train, I'm rather hungry. So, what does that call for? Extreme hunger calls for extreme food. Check out this here. I'm getting a bit of burrito. Burrito del Baracho. That's the drunk man's burrito. Look at this. Well folks, good afternoon on such a warm sunny evening here, sunny afternoon folks, in tequila. Yes I'm drinking tequila here on the street, tequila, drinking tequila and tequila. This is La Capilla, it's one of the most famous cantinas in the town. Anyway, if you're looking for it, it's like this here. There's no actual signs on the door, so you can't really see, but you'll hear the music, you'll see everyone. Just ask everyone for La Capilla. Hola, bienvenidos a Tequila. What time is it? It's Tequila time. And now it's time for us to make our final stop of the journey. On to the agave fields to see the harvesting technique from an actual himador. Once that's done, there's nothing else to do but get your perfect Instagram photo in the agave fields, drink more tequila, and bust out those moves on the dance floor. Because you see, agave can only leave the heart. Woo! Oh. Well folks, that's the end of the day. Two more shots, three shots, unlimited shots. It's not a bad deal actually for about, it's about 130 pounds. So all you can drink, all you can eat, not quite all you can eat actually, but there is a lot of drink to be, to be had, to be fair. So yes, of course you can do things cheaper. You can go and get the public bus yourself. You can enter the museums yourself, but you know, part of the experience is going on the train. We made lots of friends from the United States, from Canada. Final salud, final salancha. Um, it's for me, 
It's good night from Agave Fields of Jalisco, Mexico. Train station in English, easy to say. In Espanol? Otra vez? Ferrocarriles. Ferrocarriles. There we go. Ferrocarriles. 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 See? Ferrocarriles. Ferrocarriles. No? You just listen to it. Ferrocarriles. 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 Anyway, there we go, folks. What a what an war <laughs> what an end to a, an eventful day. That was a war end to a beautiful day, folks. <laughs> Is this gonna meet the final? <laughs> Fuck. Is this gonna make the final edit, or am I gonna cut this out? Will this end up in the final YouTube video? Probably not. But anyway, folks, it's good night from me, and it's good night from her. Buenas noches, and thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Bye.